M0FXB, let's see if we can get you set up using your FTM300 uh, with the WireZX PC system. Now this is different than the WireZX system that you, you would use on the radio and with your hotspot because this system does not require an antenna. It is using the SCU20 cable um, to connect to your PC. So first thing you've got to do is see the screen on the left here. Uh, you've got member registration. So get the member re registration done. Um, and what will happen is a few days later, you will get a message um, from WireZX with your room ID number and your node ID number, and that is essential. Now, the other number you need is your radio ID number. So I'll show you how to do this now. You just um, hold down the F. Uh, we've got some APRS coming in here. Just let that clear. I hit back. Right, hold down the F. Turn the large knob to GM. Select it. And on, on uh, selection number three, just go to it. You don't have to select it. Just scroll to it. And at the top, it shows you the ID of the radio. This is important as it is linked to your account. And your WireZX PC system will not work without this number and you and the registration will not complete. So let's just go back to a normal screen at the moment. So once you've had the email through, you're going to have to uh, download the SCU driver for your radio. So um, go to the Yesu site, scroll to the bottom You've got connection driver here, and there is an instruction manual as well that will talk you through that. It's quite basic, but you do need to do it, you know, read through it and do that first. Remember not to connect the cable to your radio until you've downloaded the driver first. So once you've got the cable installed, you've got your radio ID number, you've had the email from um, Yesu, then the next step is, right, let's just get my bearings here, to uh, fire up, no, to, you can now connect the cable to the back of the radio, it's like a, it's got many pins, but let's just say it's a nine pin plug, and you've plugged it into your PC and everything's installed. You've registered now, so you can now go to uh, let's get the correct page node owners page yeah so to see it says here node owners page and then you can download the what wires x pc version that i've already downloaded there is some information as on how to do that as you can see so i'm sort of reading this as we go now there's where the cable connects. It's a 10 pin plug. That wasn't a bad guess. <coughs> yeah, right. Okay. So what happens is once you've plugged it in and you fire it up, you get what they call the first, uh, the first time setup. Now in the first time setup, you are asked to put in the two numbers, that, you know, that you've already got it connected to your radio so it's going to pick up the ID number of the radio and match that up so all you'll ask to put in is the node number and the room number once you've done that yeah the other thing is you can use your device manager to um, to check which port that's on so just go right click if you're Windows 10 select device manager and you'll see it appear there now I wonder if it appears on mine um, I could have a go. What I'll do, I'll put, I'll put the radio into X mode and just see if that appears. So at the moment we're in normal mode. Turn the radio off. Hold down the two orange buttons. Turn it on. Right, you'll get that tone. Now we're now in X mode. Let's just see if, if there's an error it will show here at the bottom. There's no error here. I was hoping that my port number would show. 
Uh, let's have a double check. Device manager. Unless it is COM12. Let's have a look. Let's see if we go into the settings. File settings. There you go. Oh, I can't find that. It's in there. It will be in there somewhere. Anyway, you get the idea. So you've <coughs> you um, put the two numbers in. You put in ID entry, and it should all just connect. Uh, read read through this manual, and there is some help there with ports. More information on initial setup. And I think that's it. And once you once it's worked, you'll get a page like this. It takes a couple of minutes for these areas to populate. Let's just say we click this one and click connect. Okay. There you go. It's connected to that. To disconnect, you go disconnect like that. Now I notice that you can add people to favorites. So once they're in in your thing, you can add them to, as a favourite. And so I've got a few connected here. Let's try another one. Connect. Turn the volume up a bit. Let's disconnect, file, disconnect. Let's try America Link, they all seem to be busy. No, not busy at the moment, but it will all come through. If you hit the AB button on the 300, you go into access mode where the radio acts as a hotspot. And you can get your handheld and talk on this frequency. The frequency can be changed in the settings. But just remember, there are limitations on your license. So you will need to check that and use a dummy load on the radio to control, uh, you know, any uh, the output power that's being transmitted. <clears throat> so I hope this helps. I'm trying to remind myself, to be honest, how to use it all. Someone sent me a message asking, so I thought I'd just try and do a short video, refresh everything. Um, send me any questions and that, and I'll look them up. If I don't know the answer, I'll, I'll, I'll find the answer. So, hope you find this video useful. Uh, 73 catch you on air. Please subscribe.